Hi everyone. I just wanted to give you all a quick update for those of you who are enrolled on my simple algorithm course. I've been making some extensions and modifications to the course. For those of you who are already enrolled on the course, I think you'll really like these and find them really useful. So I just wanted to bring them to your attention and point you in the right direction so that you can go and get access to them. What I've done to the course is I've made an extension. So far the course covers the simple algorithm in detail and goes through all of the stages in the algorithm and gives example code at the end which shows you how the algorithm really works. And what I've done is I've now included an additional discussion of the Simplex algorithm and the PISO algorithms. So I've included some additional discussion there and also uh, included a modification to the source code as well so that you can go in and you can play around and compare the different algorithms for yourselves. And the reason I did this is not to give you uh, a detailed discussion of these algorithms and their history, but really to just deepen your understanding of the simple algorithm uh, itself. So let's just quickly jump over and I'll show you where you can get access to these uh, updates. So the first modification that I've made to the course is to the course textbook. And if you log into the Teachable page onto the Simple Algorithm course and scroll down to the second section under the introduction, we'll find the link to the course textbook section as normal. And if you click on the link, that will take you to the course textbook page. And what you want to do is just scroll down past the introductory video to the embedded PDF for the course textbook. And you'll remember that you can look at the course textbook within the PDF viewer here, or you can click this button in the top right hand corner and that will open up in a separate viewer. The modification I've made to the course textbook is to include two additional chapters at the end for the Simplex and Piso algorithms. And if we click on one of these chapters, what you'll find is that the chapter follows a similar format, and a similar notation to all of the previous chapters that we've been through before for the simple algorithm. And what this chapter focuses on is the key point of the Simplex and Piso algorithms and why they were developed. And that point is the weighted average of the neighbor velocity corrections in the equation for the velocity correction there. And this term, the weighted average, you may remember if you've been through the course already that this term is neglected in the simple algorithm, but in the Simplex and Piso algorithms, this term is approximated in different ways. And that has a resulting effect on the algorithm and how it converges. And what I do in the course textbook is actually talk through this approximation in detail and what it means. And you can see that through diagrams here, which will really help your understanding of the algorithm I then go through and derive all of the equations as normal that you need for the algorithm. And so you can develop a really good understanding of these algorithms and why they were needed and how they're different to the simple algorithm. And I follow the same sort of format for the Piso algorithm as well, but this time, of course, starting with our simplified conceptual idea for how the pressure velocity coupling algorithm works but you'll notice there's that additional extension there for the Piso algorithm. And I go through that in a lot more detail in this chapter. Now, the second modification that I've made to the course is as well as extending the course textbook to include all that additional discussion and references to the original sources that you might need. If you scroll through to the end of the course where we go through the MATLAB and Python code, you'll notice that the sections are identical as before, but I've added an additional section here for Simplex and Piso algorithms. If you click on that link, what you'll find is uh, I've made uh, copies of the original code that we had before for solving the lid-driven cavity flow and the channel flow, but this time the code has been modified to include Simple, Simplex, and Piso algorithms all together, and so you can run them on the same problem and see the differences in the algorithm. And I'm just going to quickly pull up MATLAB to show you what those modifications look like so you can have a go at playing around with the algorithms yourself. So here we are in the MATLAB code for the uh, lid-driven cavity flow with the co-located variable arrangement. And the user inputs for the code are exactly the same as normal. You can control the, the mesh density, the size of the domain, relaxation factors, and your outputs. 
but you'll notice that there's now an additional entry here where you can choose the pressure velocity coupling method. You can choose simple, simplex or piezo. At the moment it's just set as the default, which is simple. And if I run the code, the algorithm is going to use the simple algorithm to converge and it will plot the solution. And this is exactly what you've seen before for um, if you've been through the course already, you notice we've got the residuals, monitors, and then contour plots and, and vectors. And this is the solution for the lid-driven cavity flow that we expect. But what I can do now, which is really useful, is I can change the pressure velocity coupling method. And for example, I could ch change this to piezo. And when you have a go at this for yourself, you can look at the residuals yourself and you'll see that in fact, the convergence is slightly different. And even if you wanted to time it, you'd find that the piezo algorithm is slightly slower. And if we just have a quick look at the solution, what you'll find is that the solution, of course, is the same. We've converged, but you can see that there's some slight difference in the convergence of the residuals and the monitors as well. And I don't want to go into that into too much detail. If you're already enrolled in the course, just scroll down to that section in the algorithm and boot up the code and you can have a go for yourself. I've made one final addition to the course, which many of you were requesting. And if you scroll down all the way to the bottom, past the lecture series in the course and the MATLAB and Python code, you'll see that at the end of the course, I've now also added a certificate of completion. And if you click on this link, you'll find that it loads up another section with a certificate of completion, which you can download. And this certificate is really useful because you can use it as evidence of uh, continuing professional development or CPD, or if you're doing this as part of a training budget or a training course that your company or institution has, you can download this certificate and use it as evidence that you've actually enrolled in the course and completed it as well. So I know many of you were asking for a completion certificate, and I've got it here at the end of the course. Um, so all you have to do again is just log on to the course and scroll all the way down to the bottom and you can get that as well. So that was just a quick summary of some of the latest additions that I've made to the Simple Algorithm course. If you're already enrolled on the course, you can get access to all of these extra features right away. If you just log into your account on Teachable and log into the course and find the various sections, you should have access to all of these extra features right away. And if you're not enrolled on the course and you think you'd like to, I'll, as always, just leave a link below the video, which you can follow to get access. Uh, and you will also get access to all of these new features and all of the other uh, teaching uh, material that I've provided throughout the course. I, my intention is for everyone to get access to everything. And I really hope that by going through the course, you can develop that deep understanding of the simple algorithm and now Simplec and Piso algorithms as well. So that wraps up the video. Uh, thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you next time.